This video brought to you by Gamefly. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash HaloCanon for a 30-day free trial. Stick around to the end for more details. Since day one, Halo has presented itself as a universe full of potential. When Halo Custom Edition came out, people began taking full advantage of the access to Halo CE's Blam Engine, creating games that either emulated Halo or broke from its mold to do something new. To this day, content is still being created. When Halo Wars was announced, many fans were excited to see Halo branch out into other genres. Since then, many of us have been hoping to see that sort of branching continue. As far back as the introduction of The Flood, many Halo fans have wanted to see Halo tackle the survival horror genre specifically. It certainly helped when Halo The Flood helped flesh out the true horror even the Master Chief felt when facing this enemy, and seeing allies go through the rather excruciating transformation process in Halo 3 only added fuel to the fire. When Halo Evolutions released in late 2009, it included a story called the Mona Lisa, named for the titular prison ship. While it caught the imaginations of the readers, it was nowhere near as powerful as the motion comic released three years later. Here, the horror of the Flood was visualized in ways not seen before, or at least not as viscerally. Fans were sold. A Halo survival horror was needed. And let's be honest, Halo is a great universe to set a survival horror in. A particular story I'd love to see visualized as a game is the story of Staff Sergeant Marvin Mobuto. For anyone who hasn't read Halo the Flood, Sergeant Mobuto was the reclaimer that 343 Guilty Spark recruited before the Master Chief. Yes, the Master Chief wasn't Spark's first recruit to retrieve the Index. While most of us, if not all, have experienced the library several times at this point, I think this would be a fun way to reimagine the library run. We're no longer a powerful Spartan, not an elite ODST, just a normal soldier. The run could encourage more stealth tactics and perhaps have our Marines solve some small puzzles to access new areas. At this point in the story, the Flood outbreak wouldn't have been quite as bad, allowing for more diverse gameplay options. However, as the game went on, the number of Flood would increase. Just as the Index was in sight, you'd have a final stand Halo Reach style until you finally die, your body torn to shreds by Flood forms. A final cinematic would show the Master Chief finding your body, briefly paying respects, before moving on with his mission. This is a scenario I know a number of fans have wanted to see realized, and in addition to changing up the core gameplay, I think this would be a great opportunity to introduce new Flood abilities, making them more dynamic than in the past, and perhaps give us Grunt and Jackal Flood forms. Yes, these do exist, canonically. Another fun idea would be to run around a human city as the Flood are spreading. You'd have limited weapon use, relying on stealth and hidden passages to avoid the Flood. Or perhaps change things up and play as a member of the Covenant during the Flood invasion in Halo 2. In this game, you'd be running through the streets of the central city we see in Halo 2, but we never actually get to explore, looking for a way out of the Holy City. Once again, you'd have limited weapon usage, and perhaps for fun, you could choose from any of the Covenant species, each one perhaps having their own unique campaign. What I'd really love to see, however, is a game set during either the Human Forerunner War or the Forerunner Flood War. Imagine, being either an ancient human or Forerunner on this alien world. It's a nice day, maybe you spend some time doing what would pass as normal for either society. Then, you see something in the sky. It's Flood dispersal pods, hundreds of them, raining down. Maybe you're in a building and a pod crashes in. Flood infection forms emerge, infecting those around you while you have to escape. From there, it's a fight for survival against an infected city where you, the unarmed civilian for all intents and purposes, have to escape without conventional weaponry. Basically, the Halo version of Alien Isolation. If not a city, perhaps a ship, military or non-military. Some mission was just completed and unknown to the crew, the Flood managed to sneak aboard. If you've read the short Defender of the Storm from Halo Fractures, think something like that. Personally, as cool as it would be to play as an ancient human and get to see some of their society fleshed out, one fun thing I think about playing as a Forerunner besides playing as this new species would be the chance to hunt down different levels of combat skins. This could certainly be achieved with ancient humanity, but there's a stronger lore connection if it was done with Forerunners. In Halo 3, one of the terminals talks about how, as the Flood was spreading throughout the galaxy, even non-combat personnel were being forced to wear combat skins. Now, as much as I've been gushing over the Flood, they aren't the only way Halo could do survival horror. Imagine being a human civilian, or maybe part of a colonial militia. It's the late 2520s, the Covenant War is still largely unknown. 
Suddenly, bulbous purple ships appear in the sky. Local military forces try to engage, but we all know how that goes. Glassing beams erupt from the ship, and you lose consciousness. Hours later, not unlike ODST, these invaders are still around, seemingly excavating something in the remains of the city. You have to avoid these alien invaders while escaping. While basically the same as the flood invasion idea, I think it would be fun to make the Covenant scary. Species like the Jackals and Grunts always look so small to you as a 7-foot super soldier, but in truth, both are about as tall as the average person. Imagine seeing that, or the elites towering over you. As before, you could also set this on a ship. Maybe you're an engineer or something and the ship gets invaded. You have to evade Covenant while trying to keep nav data out of their hands and escaping. And hell, have fun with it. Have multiple endings. One where you succeed in escaping, one where you don't but you erase the nav data, and one where you fail on both fronts. In 2015, 343 announced a partnership with Creative Assembly to make Halo Wars 2 the long-awaited sequel to the 2009 hit. While Creative Assembly is best known for the Total War series, one of their most recent works was Alien Isolation, a survival horror set in the Alien universe. Now more than ever, the Halo franchise is perfectly teed up for a survival horror game. 343 have the perfect partner, it's just a matter of taking that next step. So what do you think? Would you enjoy a survival horror Halo game? If so, what sort of game would you like to see? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching as always, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give a like and consider subscribing and sharing this video around. Also consider checking out Gamefly, with over 8,000 new releases and classic games for current and previous gen consoles, and even some older consoles, Gamefly is a great way to try tons of games without buying them. Go to GameflyOffer.com slash Halo Cannon to start your 30-day free trial.